Chris, welcome back. Oh man, great to see you, man. I can't believe it was less than a week ago you were in space. I can't either, you know, it all happened so fast. It's so cool. And next thing you know, you're seeing your friends and a week ago you were in space. Take me through a little bit of the rehab so far. Like, how do you feel right now, less than a week out? I feel really good. I, I think that our bodies are like amazing because getting there to space, I had almost zero adaptation opening the hatch and floating in. My body just knew how to do it. And I feel like it was better coming back this time than last time as well. I mean, really little dizziness or anything like that. And so rehab has been, uh, you know, at the gym and we're, we're focusing on balance and changing direction and that sort of thing, but it hasn't been uh, vomit inducing or anything like that. It's been not so bad. I saw the photos of you smiling right after landing. It looks like you're just right at home. You know, I was smiling because I finally got to stretch my knees out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank God, my knees. You know, you talk about adapting. Uh, we obviously see videos of you down here in Mission Control, and you just look like you're completely comfortable. You're really good at moving in zero G in weightlessness. Does it take three missions to get that way? It doesn't take three missions, but it takes a good chunk of a couple weeks or a month, maybe longer, everybody's different. But for instance, what I really enjoyed was we got to space, Anatoly had been there multiple times, I'd been there a couple times, but Ivan hadn't. And watching him gangle his way through the hatch and the first couple days kind of move around with extreme uncertainty and even inside looking for the next place to put his hand and then slowly watching his comfort level and man towards halfway through and the rest of the mission he was just zipping around just like he'd been there a million years so again your, your bodies and your brains just sort of adapt to it and the other thing is you get used to not needing your hands to do stuff and your feet just start instinctively grabbing handrails, handrails, but uh -huh. you, your feet just find it. And in fact, there was a few times where I needed to move a handrail for some science reason or payload had to go there and my foot would naturally swoop in that location and there would be no handrail there. And I realized, well, that's pretty crazy. My, like without even thinking, my foot knew that that's where the handrail should be to grab, but it wasn't there. Being your third mission, did it come back, you know, a minute in, an hour in? Um, minutes. Minutes. Minutes, yeah, like really fast. And um, when I was a shuttle guy, I came to the space station, but my analogy is like a vacation rental. Like you're enjoying the house, you're enjoying the facilities, but you don't care how the VCR and cable wiring is. You don't care how the sprinkler system works. You don't care the nuance on the thermostat. Everything should work. And if it doesn't, you call the landlord and say, fix this thing. That's like a shuttle visiting person for just two weeks. But my last mission, and again this one, now it's not a vacation rental, it's your house. Yeah. And you care about how the wiring on the TV system is, you care about the sprinkler system not going on time, and you care about trash day, and all those things, and it's your home. And you have like this real ownership of it. And I remember thinking how cool that was last time when I got to that point. And this time it, it was right away, because I only overlapped with Drew and Jessica for a week, maybe nine days, and then I was on my own. But it was no big deal because I'd already had that feeling of, of ownership. And the space station had changed, but it really hadn't changed a ton, so I felt really quite at home. Yeah, it was a neat feeling. Subscribe for more space.